the Easter Bunny Bloodbath from 2010. I got it right here. I bought it. I blind, I blind bought no, this. Let thing. me let me say. Did you pay twenty bucks for that? No, because I went on Amazon and, and you know I was looking to see if this no. had a Blu-ray release, and I thought it was twenty twenty dollar really? price tag on this. I wow, like, I paid like seven ninety nine or something. I don't I don't know, but regardless, seven ninety nine too uh, much. Yeah, I would say so. Summary for this film: uh, Twenty years ago, young Peter McKay watched his father decapitate his sister on Easter morning. Peter never celebrated the Easter holiday again until now. Okay, now, first of all, uh, well, it's written and directed by Richard Mogg. Do you have anything else? I mean, tagline, he's not just hunting eggs, he's hunting you. Distributed by SRS Cinema. This, again, has a Blu-ray. Oh, my God. Uh, released in 2017. Only 100 of them made, so if well, you want I would one, assume. go to SRS and uh, see if they got any more. There's, I, there's already a problem in just the summary. This guy doesn't see his father kill anybody, right? It, his father just kills people. I don't remember ever seeing a child see his father kill somebody, right? Does that happen? I don't know. It happens in know. the next one, right? You I don't know. know. I, mean, I don't know. I mash, I'm probably going to mash some things up between this and the other ones. It so. don't matter. So. Uh, if you were the writer slash director of this shitty indie movie, Richard Mogg, uh, there is 100%. I, ha- I have heard that he's gotten better. Well, we'll see. I don't know how many more films he well, has. I, th- uh, I didn't see Don't much. write him off just yet. Um, <clears throat> there's 100% no reason why you need to intro this junk-ass movie. He, like, introduces it like he's fucking Lloyd Kaufman. And he's not even Lloyd Kaufman. Lloyd Kaufman is really being kind of brazen to introduce every trauma movie. But he's also Lloyd Kaufman, so he gets the pass. He gets You, to. sir, or not. Uh, my first problem occurs instantly when they flash back to 1967. This family has VHS tapes all over the place, a flat screen, standard definition TV, yeah. and a DVD player in the background. What's it spo- is it supposed to be in the 80s? 67 is what it says. What it, it says, it says, it comes across the screen. Because they got 80s retro writing. Right. It's supposed to be set in the 80s. They dre- Okay. So, so. But they they're driving modern cars. They're also wearing modern hairstyles. The one girl has like a scenester, uh, yeah. punk rock hairstyle. There's a lot of problems with this. But like I said, 1967, VHS tapes all over the place, uh, DVD player. Get your shit straight, kid. What's up? Uh, evidently, this movie is supposed to be set in 1987, but they put literally no effort into not using modern cars and letting the scenester ki- chick uh, keep her swoopy emo hair from the early 2000s. Uh, it's around 12 minutes in, and the teen- teenager is badly freestyle rapping, and I hate myself for the choices that I make sometimes, like buying this DVD. Uh, let's do an Easter special, I said. <laughs> the Easter is now dead to me after this. Hey, fucking... try to pick some Easter movies, he says. <laughs> no? I'll pick April Fool's. That's, that's, <laughs> there that's are a ton thing. of Easter movies. Though. There's like these Bunny Man films. I've and, seen, yeah. Uh, I almost come across a couple more. No, I think Night of the Lepus would have been a better go for, for Easter. Um, after the rap prodigy is finished with his uh, freestyling session, he tells a scary Easter story that is accompanied by some of the worst illustrations Microsoft Paint has ever uh, composed. It, if you aren't even going to try a little bit, and I've got these, if you're watching the video, I'm going to pop some of these up. I took some screenshots. If, if you are not going to try the least bit, it's too bad. I mean, if you're watching the video, you'll see it. Uh, there's a difference between trash cinema and just trash. Um, this movie made Camp Death 3 in 2D, which you didn't watch, seem like a masterpiece. I mean, uh, overall, the movies I picked for this Easter special make the Oregonian look like it would have won an award. Uh, it's not a lie. <laughs> they really lie. hung a hat on the lesbian shower scene. Uh, but no nudity. Nothing like a PG... And they're... And they're- Hand, making out nothing like a PG lesbian love scene with two handsome women because they're not even like they're not like babes or whatever. Which you, if you, I can understand that'd be understandable to oh let's drag this hot babes uh, in the shower. Scene. Maybe that's wasn't maybe that's why it wasn't nudity. <laughs> Probably. Uh, I don't know uh, what it is about these low budget filmmakers, but they always love to throw a scene in. Like there's the scene in this movie, slip and slide goes on for way too long and it's really just him showcasing a fun time he had with his friends that's all that's the way i look at it 
And uh, a lot of these uh, low-budget movies do this kind of shit. Um, <clears throat> if you're going to have a character who's a park ranger, also, here's a tip. Uh, give him a fucking badge. How about that? Give, go to the goddamn dollar store and buy him a fucking plastic badge. because His this shirt and his shorts don't even match. <laughs> it's like, I, I don't know. Um, hey, uh, it's like they just asked this guy to bring in his own shirt from work or something. Uh and I think that they spent a lot of their budget on this Spencer's Gifts, uh, like, what is that thing? It's like a, a party light, uh, you know, like a, it's got, and because they move it around, they take it outside, <laughs> it, 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 they take it outside to the lame barbecue where they get, they just have fucking steaks. That's it. It's nothing else. There's no sides, just a bunch of steaks on, they don't even have utensils to eat it with, I don't think, but they did bring the light outside that has the, the Spencer's Gifts light, um. And the, uh, there's a weed smoking scene in here. Uh, they got that right on the money, you know. That's just how... I don't know, man. The chroma key blood splatter filters that, that they use are available on YouTube. Awful. For Aren't free. they got? You can find these on YouTube. You can just download them, and they're free. I'm sure you can, try to find a budget on this. <laughs> I, I don't think they would list it. I mean, it has I'm sure to... you get all these guys. They were no, it's not listed, but <laughs> get hold of them. Hey, we should have just shit on your movie. Uh, yeah, they knew what they made. They had to. Uh, I'm gonna. I w this is another one. I would have gave this a zero, but I guess this is just a one. So uh, ultra low budget. Well, I wish I would have found out what it was. <laughs> uh, I thought a couple of the actors did a good, an okay job. Uh, the, the couple, I guess, the boy and the girl, right. uh, compared to the rest of them, I think those two, you put those in a little bit more, a low budget, like. But one with, like, a good script. Not and, all, yes, yeah. like, uh, I think they would be okay. I think they could hold their own in a, a, a bigger movie. Uh, but that's it. That's the only good right. thing I got to say about this movie. Um, the rest of the actors are, are awful. The worst, though, is the little white, boy rapper right he's terrible what is it? that is awful like <laughs> oh uh that... <laughs> when the rap scene in itself is cut that he's, out. A, he's a rapper you know that a real life yeah movie? he has videos on youtube oh no uh and he, i guess he's uh, he's older than he looks too because this kid looks like he's 12 years old right and is like trying to get with a 18 20 year old right. girl in a movie yeah, he's um, with this, the, the swoopy-haired scenester girl, yeah, right? Yeah. And that she's, would not happen. <laughs> she's not a big girl, but she's she's much bigger, bigger than, than him. Oh, yeah. Her frame. Um, the CG's bad. The, the splatters on the screen is just awful. Um, there's, I guess, a couple cool kills in it. Um, so I guess I have two positive things. What ones? I don't know. It just says, <laughs> I must have thought that. so at a time. <laughs> I can't even think of one, honestly. Uh, yeah, it's hard to remember these movies because it was just so hard to watch. Um, <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be in the 80s, but that was a complete fail. Everything, most of everything about this movie is a fail. If you're going to make a movie set in a different time period, you have to fucking have money, man. You got to get cars from the time period. Or just avoid... Or just avoid. I would just, yeah, that's a good point too. New yeah. cars. I don't know. Find someone. One of your buddies has to have an old <laughs> like a pacer. escort or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's just awful. This one I give a one. Yeah, 